Hey, welcome guys. We are gonna be starting our nervous system part two or central nervous system as we call it. This is gonna be a really short video. We're just going over some basic stuff um, and then we'll continue more on to our next video when we get into more detail. But to start things off, what are some of the goals for this unit? We're trying to analyze the different anatomical structures of the brain and spinal cord. So we're trying to understand what is what and like what's happening in these structures particularly, especially in the brain. Evaluate which areas of the brain are responsible for the complex actions of the body. So that's more physiology than anything else. Like what is it actually doing? And then discuss certain diseases of the nervous system and how they affect the brain and spinal cord. So we already talked about multiple sclerosis in our previous video, but now we get to discuss some other conditions, uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, things like that, that can also affect the brain in serious ways. So speaking of the brain, there's been a common belief for a very long time that the brain is simply broken up into two hemispheres where you have the left and right hemisphere or left brain, right brain. And dependent on that, that would, that would control basically who you were, right? Like what type of personality you had. So if you can tell, like left brain, we refer to it as this digital brain, meaning it controls reading, writing, calculation, logical thinking. Whereas the right brain, we refer to that as the analog brain or the analogous brain. That's going to control things like 3D sense, creativity, and artistic senses as well. Now, as I mentioned, this was the belief for a long time. It's kind of shifted, and I'll talk about what that shift has occurred in just a second. But here we're able to see like what do we expect to see in your lo in logic and or sorry in left and right brain. In the left brain, we expect to see things like decisiveness, logical thinking, accuracy, analytics, reasonable, uh, practicality, strategic things like that. On the right brain, we expect to see things more like intuitive, freedom, passion, vividness, creativity. Now, for a long time, the belief was. If you're more left brain oriented, you're going to have these traits. This is who you are. Or if you're more right brain oriented, these are the traits you have. What's been shown is that for most people, yes, you may have like a certain viewpoint, like you, you may be more left oriented or more right oriented, but you're going to use both. You're going to use both. Not to mention, dependent on your life, like where you are in your life and your surroundings, you are going to be forced to be more left brain oriented or more right brain oriented. So there's a lot of factors in life that can affect affect that, right? Like I, there's a test you can take that just shows you like a fun little way of like, oh, I wonder where you're at. It's, I always, I, I compare it honestly to like the personality tests in like magazines that they used to exist. Um, but I, like when I do this, when I teach my students, um, last year, my number was around 45, if I recall correctly. Uh, today I took it again this morning and I was at 38. I expect my numbers to shift and especially with what's happened in the last year and what's continuing to happen with the pandemic, um, it's more reasonable for me to think more of the logical side and left brain oriented. Um, but again, that's not to say that you're stifling your creative side. That's just how some people tend to think is really what we're discussing here. And finally, the last thing I wanted to conclude with today, it's just a YouTube video that you can watch if you look up Ted Ed, Great Brain Debate. Um, it's a great video just discussing about the origins of uh, the, the, the first scientists that are the pioneers, basically, the forefathers, trying to learn about what the brain does. Granted, back then, it was a very different world, right? People, there were no real medical procedures as far as like uh, proper practices. It would be more realistic that someone would get grabbed off the street if they were like homeless or they weren't that important and they would just start testing them, start doing weird stuff to them. In today's day and age, it's a very different world. But it's an interesting video because it shows that these people who thought they knew what the brain did, while a lot of what they understood was turned out to be wrong, some of it is still true today. So they kind of laid the foundation and then build and build and build from that. Right. So that's where we're going to conclude. Like I said, it's a very short video, mainly so short because we did in, in class in particular, we did more information on this on this video and uh, on the the personality test thing that we did. All right, so I'll ch check you guys out with the next one. Uh, we'll continue moving forward with central nervous system. Have a great day.